some of the teachings that I got from, from my family, from my elders, I, I now share that with others. And I know the title uh, states that it's um, soaring high or empowering the youth. Because that's what I do now. I do, I do go around the Atlantic provinces and I speak to youth. These are Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal communities and I speak to youth. And, uh, and, and I teach them or show them that you, know, you, can keep your, you can keep your culture, you can keep your teachings because you know, coming from Eskazon and moving down to Halifax, there was a lot of things that I had to, that had to change in order to maneuver myself around. And, and, uh, and, and I felt that wasn't right. And um, so, like what I do now, like I, I, I go and, and talk, to, talk to our youth and, and empower them, really, empower them. And I use, and I'm kind of chuckling right now, uh, arm wrestling. I'm, in a, I'm a champion arm wrestler. And, well, thank you. Uh, and, uh, and I've been going around nationally and internationally. Um, I came in second just uh, two years ago in Canada. And that, that well, thank you. And, and that qualified me to represent our, our country. Uh, so um, I had sponsors that sent me to um, uh, Budapest, Hungary, and uh, where I competed with the best. And, um, and I was the smallest guy in my division. <laughs> Uh, there were there were about uh, my super head, heavyweight category was 242 pounds and up and I was 243. <laughs> so yeah, I was the, like the guy from Russia and Germany and Poland. They're all like three. The average weight was 350 pounds. Ooh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm like thinking I just want to come home with my two of my arms like, and still intact. Um, but I did win. I did win some. I lost some as well. And uh, I came in uh, eighth. I came eighth in the world. <laughs> and, and thank you. So, so I didn't. I didn't really expect to to take any any winnings because that was my first world experience. Um, and there was like about fifteen hundred uh, competitors with different um, age categories and different divisions. And um, so. Since then, I, I've, I've used arm wrestling, and, and as, an, as uh, there's a there's a talk to it too. So when I do my presentations, I just don't talk about like arm wrestling. I talk there's 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 a message there, and uh, um, so I use that for the first part. And the second part, I talk about the uh, well the, the basic fundamentals about the sport, because I also created a television. I have a television show actually. It's on APTN or Aboriginal People's Television Network. It's called Arm Nation. Be sure to view it. <laughs> Um, but uh, it was my idea that I put together. I didn't think it was going to go anywhere. Um, I put it together, sent it off. Many phone calls and emails later, and bam, here you go. So uh, we, just, we just wrapped up our last, it's a 13 half hour series. We just wrapped up our, um, the last 13th or episode was end of January. But you can still watch it online. So they see me as a role model already because I'm a, I'm a Mima arm wrestling champion and I go around and uh, you know compete and talk and and what the TV show helps um, the the um, winning or coming in eight certainly helps but I, I I I encourage them to you know to keep their to keep their culture to keep to keep their spirituality you know, practice, like, you know, keep, keep smudging, go to sweat lodges, go to Maoyomis or powwows. Uh, we, we have 13 communities here in Nova Scotia, and we have 13 communities, we'll have Maoyomis or gatherings in these communities, and they're free and they're for everyone, so, uh, and, and, and I encourage them to even, you know, for them to visit our Maoyomis is, is fantastic. Um, but, and before I go, an elder, taught me something that, that I will never, never forget. And I was talking about him earlier today because I was asked, well, what are you going to talk about, uh, Trevor? Um, you know, because normally there's a, there's a topic or, or there's, a, 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 there's a thing that, you know, I, I talk about. And I'm like, this, this should be easy. Talk about myself, <laughs> right? And, and um, but I wasn't always comfortable speaking. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, uh, 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 you know, a public speaker in, in any way. And, and an elder, uh, I was invited to do a, uh, a cultural presentation for uh, NSGEU, um, and it was their board of directors. And uh, I brought my elder along, um, the late Emmett Peters, so I went. 
And I had a, uh, I had a presentation all prepared, and it was on PowerPoint. It was like about 30 slides, and I timed it to be about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. I memorized the whole slide, and, and when I got there, and um, there was like people, and uh, um, there was like about 50 people, and I remember standing there, okay. This is this is this is this is me, ma. This is who we are. So I, I I presented myself as really like like um, strict, I guess, <laughs> because this is this is us. Right? This is me, ma. <laughs> 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 um, so when it was up there, I, like, it wasn't even two minutes. <laughs> it wasn't two minutes, and I could I could, I could feel the throat in my like the lump in my throat. And I, was like, Ooh. I wanted to cry. <laughs> I was like, I was so nervous. I was shaken. I was like, oh no, I, I and and then I and it just like silenced, and 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 I started like, oh, I don't, and I said, I'm so sorry. I have to sit down. And I'm like, I bombed. I bombed. Oh. And, and 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 I sat and I sat down, and I sat down. The elder Emmett, elder Emmett. So he was he was he was um, uh, he was beside me. So he gets up. I could feel his hand on my shoulder. I got this, Trevor. <laughs> right. So, so I'm, I'm like, okay, whatever, because <laughs> I'm already like, oh no, like. Yeah. So he comes up. The first couple sentences <laughs> that he said, he dropped some f bombs. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 I'm like sitting there, and my head just went down. Then even further, <laughs> okay, I, now I'm really screwed. <clears throat> they laughed. They loved it. He was being himself. He had some serious topics to share, yes, but he was being himself. He was walking around, talking, sharing, passing on the knowledge. They smiled, they laughed, they listened. While I was sitting there, I just totally admired and adored him. I was just, wow. And, and seeing him being himself and, and not I guess faking of who he who he was, much like I was doing. I was like, I, he, the death just, you know, he just blew me away. He continued on for about five or ten minutes, and then he came back, and then and then uh, um, he knew that I was ready. So um, and he asked me, okay, now you go up. So I go up, and then I, I didn't even bother with the slides. I, I just I just shared what I knew. And it came from the heart, and that's what he showed. Like, and that's what he showed me. That was like one of those teachings that I, I didn't even know that that he was giving it to me. And since then, of course, I was like, oh wow, like you know, um, this 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 is so easy. And since then, you know, I've I've done so many presentations, so many speeches, so many talks, facilitation. I, I've, and again, up to like five people or up to 700, and I feel so comfortable. But it wasn't, I have to give credit to my late friend, Emmett Peters. He's an elder, by the way. And, 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 and again, um, it's, it's, I, I, I value that. And when I do go around and talk to um, you know, people, I know, I know in the program, talked about reconciliation. Like, you know what is reconciliation, and thank you, Tim, for mentioning that. It was it's it's everyone. Reconciliation it, it means nothing. It requires action. You, me, even with the treaties. I know you mentioned we're all treated people because we are. Everybody thinks that treaties are only a First Nation thing, an Aboriginal thing, but it's not. Our ancestors, your ancestors, we signed these treaties. It's your treaty. It's our treaty. And reconciliation is exactly that. Is you, 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 me. We all we all have a duty. It, it means nothing if we do nothing. So I was hoping to come here tonight to talk a little bit about spirituality, but I know my time is up, and I <laughs> and I just hope I planted some seeds about like even just reconciliation itself as as short of a term that I just described it, but it, it is by all, and and. And I'm going to go now, Tim. Uh, <laughs> but I do love this. I really, really do love this. Real people, real stories, and real inspiration. So I'm going to go arm wrestle Mike right now. <laughs> he, he wanted to take me on, so uh, I'm up for that challenge. Thank you. We'll all y'all. <laughs>